Noble subjects of the domain, it is finally here. My name is Sia Vince, your host, and welcome to this first blog box unboxing video. And so without further ado, let's take a look at what's inside the box. Now let's start this unboxing slash review with an item that definitely got a chuckle out of me. You'll find out why. This is bread, a foam LARPing loaf of bread. <laughs> now, it's incredibly soft and squishy. Like, I'm afraid to break it so much. It feels kind of fragile, but it looks good from afar. Looks like a loaf of bread, or more like a brioche. Now, of course, the fluorescent colors is a dead giveaway, but it's still not bad at all. I don't see myself using that loaf of bread, but I can assure you, you can't get hurt with that loaf. Maybe I use it someday when I decide to create my cook character, because I, I had a concept in my board character, uh, which was basically a barbarian chef. Now, speaking of cooking, a wooden spoon. Pretty cool. It's a shame that I don't have a bowl in order to use it, but when I do, this is going to be a must-have utensil in my inventory. Now, next up, the quill pen. Pen like these always fascinated me. Of course, there's a little cap to prevent the pen or the ink inside the pen from going dry. Nice, simple, black, soft feather. And I like the little intricate details around the ring that ties um, the feather to the pen. It's really good looking. I don't know if you can see the details. It's a um, Celtic knot pattern. Now I know that this is plastic, but looking good. That's definitely decorum. Now, can it stay? No. It won't stand on its own. Oh well. Next up, we have this nice key. Probably made of brass, I think. I like the design on this. Now, I wonder what this key can open. The answer? Bottles. This is actually a bottle opener, which is going to be useful because I used to have um, a butterfly knife uh, bottle opener. I lost it unfortunately so this will definitely come in handy now of course at the bottom of the box little sticker and in this little bag I actually have a little set of very small dice and it came with instructions for a game that I've never heard of before called I um, believe Fargo Farble something like that yeah Fargo that's how it's called the object of the game is to have the high score over 10,000 after the final round. Now, of course, <laughs> I'm not going to read all the rules of the game, but yeah, that is definitely something that I'm going to have to learn someday. A tanker. Just a plain, simple, stainless steel tanker. Whoa, don't get me wrong, eh? I'm not complaining. Not at all. I was in a dire need of a tanker in my inventory. I just need to make sure they hand wash it first. The last item in my LARP box was a great surprise. You'll see why. That's a stick of jerky. Now, you probably don't know, but I adore jerky. And this is from a company called Mythical Meats. This one is called Phoenix. And it's a turkey with beef, sweet pepper, snack stick. Now I just have one question to ask to Mythical Meats. Where have you been all my life? I have never heard of your company before. And I feel bad for not knowing you before 
um, the recording of this video. Now, of course, I have to take a bite now. I don't have any scissors, but oh, wait, I can open it. Excellent. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. I was expecting mm, I was expecting it to be tough to chew it. It's pretty soft. Very flavory. Mmm. I could definitely taste the turkey in it. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. <laughs> this turkey is delicious. Just a little spicy, but overall, mwah, chef kiss. Mythical meats, eh? I'm gonna need more of that stuff. <laughs> now this is a list of all the items that I got in my uh, Lark Box premiere. But at the back of this paper, we have a, a little preview of what I could have gotten, including all this in the legendary Lark Box. Let's see. Mini keg. A cookbook. The Hunter and Five Recipes inspired by popular medieval fantasy. <laughs> a Kalimacil wooden spoon. But that's not like this one. Like an actual wooden spoon. It says here, a foam spoon. I've never heard of Kalimacil making foam spoons. I'm gonna have to look into that. A four feet long scroll. <sighs> Gods, I need me a new scroll. And a bonus tanker to share with a friend. Mmm. This was definitely worth the wait. So this was my first experience with Larkbox. And if you're watching this, I can guarantee that this will not be the last. Thank you for watching this video of this Larkbox unboxing, sort of. Even though you didn't actually see the the unboxing process but maybe next time oh and by the way do you want me to get my hands on a sweet legendary lark box someday would you like that i know i would if you wish to help me get this little baby you know what to do this was sire vince wishing you all a great one and i cannot wait to see you in the next broadcast Oh, it's so good.